had a couple come in, and uh, we'll just call them John and Jim for the sake of, uh, of this discussion. But they had been together for a long time, and they were hesitating on getting married. So the question to me was, should we get married? Which, let's be perfectly honest, is not a question that the financial advisor gets all the time. But uh, in their situation, they were worried about paying more money in taxes. So um, John was a much higher income earner. He, he made probably about four times what Jim makes. And Jim, um, who was very successful, still didn't make very much monetarily. And so he was worried that if he were to get married to John, he'd be paying a lot more in taxes. And you think it's the opposite, right? You think you get tax breaks typically when you get married. They, you know, benefits for that. And um, Jim was right. If he were to get married to John, it would actually cost him a lot more in taxes. And so that was one of the things that I had to evaluate for him. And so we talked through that. We talked through uh, some of the different pieces and uh, some of the different tax rules that, that he would be hit by. But one of the things that they hadn't considered uh, was the Social Security end. So a lot of people don't understand that if one person in a partnership dies and a marriage dies, uh, the surviving spouse receives the higher of the two Social Securities, right? So if uh, Jim would have gotten $800 a month and John would have gotten 3000 a month in terms of Social Security income, um, if the higher income earner would have passed away, John would have died, that's $3,000 a month that uh, Jim would no longer receive, right? So that's $36,000 a year that would be gone. He would still continue to get his $800 a month if they weren't married, right, because that's his, but he would lose John's income. However, if they're married and John passes away again, and I'm sorry, John, you have to keep dying in this scenario, but John, if you were to die, Jim would lose his $800 a month, but get that $3,000 a month. So he would lose the lower Social Security amount. And that's really important because, you know, you, you, the goal was really to take care of one another, and their goal was to take care of each other and to do the best they could by each other. So when considering the taxes, there are lots of other pieces that kind of fall into place when looking at a plan like that. So that's definitely something to take into consideration. Now, if you're wondering if you should get married, I'm probably not the first person to call, but if you have questions regarding taxes or your investment plans as a couple, uh, please click the link below so we can schedule a time to talk. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you.